Energy traps. What are they and how do you initiate one yourself? Using a couple of examples today, I'm going to do my best to show you what they are and try and explain how to do this yourself. Now, if you're a more experienced Air RB player, you're probably not going to need this video. But if you're somebody who's got a decent feel for Air RB and want to learn a little bit more, this video will be for you. Now, I'm going to make this short and sweet, so let's go ahead and get into it. So what is an energy trap? There really isn't a set definition to what an energy trap is, but I'm going to give you my perspective on it. When you are energy trapping somebody, you are basically just getting your opponent to bleed all of their energy. And once you successfully get your opponent to bleed all of their energy, they're going to be basically not moving and you can swoop in and get an easy kill because they're not really able to do anything. This is the trap part of energy trap, referring to your opponent who basically is just, well, trapped. So let me show you an example real quick. So right here I'm flying the MiG-15 Biz, which is a perfect example of an aircraft that is fantastic at running energy traps on people. And my opponent is an F9F8 Cougar. The Cougar fires off an AIM-9B at me, which is going to be a very easy dodge. I notice I'm at a much higher speed than he is, therefore at a much higher energy state. So I start turning and putting my nose up. And as you can see, the Cougar actually starts getting pretty close to me. Close enough in fact that he can actually get some shots off, but luckily none of them hit. Granted, that's a pretty tough shot, that's still pretty far. But what matters is that he follows me through this maneuver. When you put your nose up and you start turning, it's going to sort of give the illusion that your opponent is catching you, which, and honestly, for a second, they kind of are, but I don't let myself get close enough for him to get a shot off on me. At this point, he sort of realizes what's happening and puts his nose down, but unfortunately for him, he's basically lost all of his speed. So it's going to take him a second to get all that speed back. He's not going to be able to get his speed back as quickly as he needs to, which is going to allow me to get some shots on him, which is going to take him out. And as you can see, if you look at my indicated airspeed, I'm at almost 800 kilometers an hour coming out of that maneuver. And this is because of a couple of things. The first being the F9 F8, it shaves speed like crazy in sharp turns, and the MiG-15 Biz, on the other hand, does the complete opposite of that. It barely loses any speed in sharp turns. And of course, I was coming out of a dive for the kill shot on him. But because the MiG-15 Biz has such a powerful engine and has great energy retention, it makes this thing an absolute monster in an energy fight, subsequently making it really, really good at being able to energy trap people with ease. So here's another example of me doing this against a Saber. It's going to be a very, very similar kill, but I figured it would probably be good to throw two in there anyway. So the Saber goes heads up with me, and I'm going to take it into the vertical. He decides to follow me into the vertical, which is not something you're supposed to do against a MiG-15 pretty much ever. I'm going pretty much straight up, but I start to maneuver a little bit towards the top of this. And that's because I'm not trying to get too far away from the Saber, just so I can get back and dive down on him before he picks up speed again. Looks like he's about to stall out, so I start putting my nose down. I timed this dive decently well, maybe a little bit late, but it's hard to get it perfect. So the Saber's at low speed, I'm going to fire off some shots, and that's going to get a crit on him. Unfortunately, my teammate ends up taking him out, but he wasn't on fire, so I can't really fault him for it. Doesn't really matter though, it still shows what an energy trap is, and how to capitalize on it. So how do you get an energy trap going? Well, there are a few different factors that'll determine whether or not you will be able to successfully initiate an energy trap. Let's start with the speed of you and your opponent. It's going to be much easier to get an energy trap going if you are at a much higher rate of speed than your opponent. You're basically going to want to try and bait them into being behind you while also being sure that you're pulling away from them and not in range of their guns. Now better players are not going to fall for this. If y'all saw my first clip there were actually two cougars behind me and one of them pulled off because he realized what was happening. The more experienced a player is, the more easily they'll be able to identify a bad situation, especially when they're in a plane like the cougar versus a MiG-15. And if they end up pulling away like that, there's nothing you can really do except try to fight them in a different way. Anyway, so maybe you've gone in the vertical or you're just in a slight climb going one direction and there's somebody behind you, but you're pulling away from them. That's when you'll be able to start slowly bringing a turn around and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing while your opponent slowly loses all of their speed, rendering them unable to maneuver. Once they either put their nose down to gain more speed or they stall out, that's your cue to put your nose down and get on their tail and get a shot off, which usually it's pretty easy considering they'll be moving at very, very low speeds. And that's basically how you pull off an energy trap in this style. There are other ways to energy trap people, but this one's the easiest way in a plane like the MiG-15. And also I felt like I could explain this a little bit better than any other way. Now, some things to remember with energy traps. You're not going to be able to pull this off in every plane. Now just a second ago, you saw me fight a Cougar in the MiG-15. Let's say our planes were switched. We were in the same positions, but I was flying the Cougar and he was flying the MiG-15. The turnout would have been much different. The Cougar having poor energy retention and a poor engine likely would have been dead in the first turn. And even if it survived the first turn and tried to climb like I did in the MiG-15, the Cougar would be a dead man instantly. Something else to remember, not every aircraft is going to behave the same way at low speeds. Also, if you're pulling a maneuver like this, you're going to have to be 100% sure there is no one in range of killing you while you're at the top of this maneuver. 
Jeez, now that I'm sitting here, I'm realizing there's a lot of nuance when it comes to energy traps. I really hope I'm doing a good enough job explaining this. <laughs> Hopefully you've learned a little bit here, however, if there is anything you take away from this, it's that energy trapping people is mainly based on feel than it is knowledge of the aircraft or knowledge of the maneuvers itself, and it takes quite a bit of practice before you can actually start nailing these consistently. I spent a very, very long time trying and failing, trying and failing until eventually I started to get the hang of it. So don't feel discouraged if you don't feel like you can do this. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Alright, see you guys next time.